So I'm recording with this um, tablet, um, and let's see uh, how it goes. I don't want to turn out. I don't want to turn on my phone again. Uh, so today I have um, my so I, I cleaned up my room. My room is um, totally stuffed. Um, everything is jammed. I couldn't do anything without running this cleanup. I have too much stuff. Or the room, the, the house is too small, rather. Um, so what I did is, um, I, it's like when you have too much stuff and you, you, don't know, you don't even know where, you don't even know where to start with. You're, you're overwhelmed with, with stuff. That's, that's how much stuff I have. Um, um, but to build up your home, okay, I'm moving, I'm build up my home. So there will be a lot of stuff. Um, it reminds me, um, in 2017, before I went to New Zealand, it was the same situation. Just the whole, complete, every room is stuffed. I went through that many times. Um, before 20 uh, year December 2019 same situation before I went to uh, come try to in China season one the whole entire room stuffed with stuff this year same situation every time I I, I start a, a big tour a big trip a, a, I do something big before I do that, the entire room is stuffed. So how did I start with these two? I don't, I don't know who I, am I talking to. No one will understand this. Why? I, okay, I'm gonna talk this anyway. What What you do is to physically move everything in front of you upstairs, because I I have two storage room upstairs my home has two two floors <laughs> move everything physically in front of you upstairs doesn't matter what it is doesn't matter um, no separation just the whole the things are in, in boxes I keep them in, into boxes I just move boxes up <sighs> I pretty much I pretty much jogged two kilometers, I think, in my home. Climb up, down, move. Um, it's very tired. And th that's what I've done uh, when when the daylight came. Before that, I I woke up two a.m. today. As soon as I woke up, I I mess up with this tablet, which is planning my route. On, on on the uh, the map application, I'm planning the whole entire entire route. It's um, it's pretty much around three three thousand k um, trails. So I'm planning those trails, and then I download the the, the satellite uh, image around the the trail, and I mark. Um, the, the spot I, I want to avoid with. I do that work um, planning the entire route because if you don't do that you will end it up in somewhere that it, which in the predicament that you are seeking Wi-Fi to do this anyway. Um, so I, I've been through that many times that's why it's very important to, even though it's, it, it sounds very ridiculous, but you do actually um, plan the whole route. <laughs> but how would you know um, the one is the right one? You explore every possible way virtually on, on, on your device. So you will have a, a a sketch, a basic 
direction. Uh, on the top of that, you search around it to find the best way. And you will have plan A, plan B, plan C, and you will find. You will, you will actually learn a lot of information from the satellite image to see whether it's a road okay or not. Sometimes a road gradually turning to gravel. Sometimes there will be um, provincial border checkpoints. Um, um, if we want to avoid that, um, those checkpoints are not necessary on every provincial borders. Um, in some isolated places, it will be nothing but just a road, a road across the border with no checkpoints. That's what I want to go with, because checkpoints are are problems. I don't want to go through checkpoints, and and also I don't want to um, be underneath reservoirs. In China, there are millions of reservoirs. I don't know, prob probably, probably ten million, ten million around. Um, officially reported eighty thousand, but that's a joke. If you look at Chinese satellite image, they, you will understand there will there will be millions of reservoirs, and reservoirs are very dangerous, especially in summer. But places around reservoirs, if you look at it um, thoroughly, you will find that the road around it is cracked. The, you, you, you will learn a lot. Again, you will learn a lot from satellite image. You will find that the, the, the stream, the river beneath, beneath the reservoir is, is, is dried and the the, the vegetation the vegetation is um is is, is died and the, the the earth is bared out um and it's just not a very lively place when when you cut down the rivers the the downstream will be a devastated places and places like that will be places that that brings you troubles. Um, that's just what I experienced, and I just want to share that. That's what I want to avoid. Um, you, you don't want a you don't want a, a bowl of water above your head. It's like yeah, it, it's it's where it went very deep. If you learn from the satellite map, you will find that all those reservoirs are like guns directly point to key roads. Almost like the, the most situation I'm trying to avoid with is that the terrain force you to go to one narrow choke point. At that choke point, there will be several reservoirs like a gun pointing to that checkpoint. Uh, choke point. It's a strategy to pre uh, to prevent people um, riot against the the tyranny. Um, so in case of things happen, um, the uh, dictatorship can uh, detonate any of those reservoirs, and the, the water will be their weapon to um, let's say to to cut down the road. To destroy the village, to destroy an entire city, we have we have a million population cities beneath a humongous reservoir. It's it's like it's like living it's like living under the swimming pool. The swimming pool is it's made by plastic bags. It's it's, it's ridiculous. Um, human won't understand this unless they experience it. Um, I think, 
and I think they will have experience very soon. But uh, anyway, um, there there's always a way. There is always a way. And I managed to to find my route around it. Um, okay. Um, there is one very tough province called Henan province. Um, the the amount of reservoirs there is 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 mind boggling, and so, um, I I couldn't avoid that um, province because um, to go around it is is it's even bigger pain um, because of the terrain because of the uh, um, because of the river system. Um, you can't go south. There will be too many rivers, too many reservoirs, too many lakes. Uh, you, you will never get anywhere. To go north is, is like this area that just not, not a good place to ride. And so there are two sections in Kunan province that I will go through um, as fast as I could, as I could, because. The route I'm, I'm going through is literally under dozens of reservoirs. I don't like it. I don't wanna. I don't wanna ride underneath a swimming pool that will burst any time. Literally, um, but it's not avoidable. Um, or to say try to avoid that is is, is less. Um, it's less a a what a wise move then go through it um, it's it's totally it's like uh, yeah it's, it's it's like around 100k on each section I, I have two of that so and and and, and the road is uh, smooth meaning it's mostly straight it's mostly well fairly flat compared to the, the mountains I'm climbing so it will be you know two to four days of uh, of work to get through it. So once you get through it, it's, it's all good. Mm. Again, I plan the whole entire route, and that's the two um, tough points that I have to go through. Mm. Since it, it is the the the, the best um, decision to make, um, because it's it's hard work. Um, it's, it costs times and I just want I'm pretty much done yeah I'm pretty much done I'm pretty much finished this mm. as I said um, earlier today I, I did a lot um, um, as soon as I wake up as soon as I wake up I, I, I did a, a big amount of work um, and I'm very close to finishing it um, so uh, this amounts September is is, is is it's like it's like it's like August in we have a fairly good August but but, but we have this September is trying to mimic in August it's it's fucking humid it's fucking hot two two things combined it's like a living hell you, you couldn't breathe you couldn't breathe Imagine you you're at the top of Everest, couldn't breathe because the air pressure is too low and there's the humidity is too high. It's hard to get oxygen from oxygen from the air. It's like it's like the uh, the burning season in, in Thailand. You couldn't breathe. It's terrible. And this is the summer we have. I have to rely on the AC. To, 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 to cool the air so when the air is cooled it's easier, easier to breathe oh my god um, I I couldn't do the welding right now at this climate um, I can't focus on this even with the AC and, and having too much AC I will get diarrhea um, so so it's a struggle, and we're still under lockdown. There's still only um, 
leaving the only one entrance that everyone have to go through. Um, if you if you want to go anywhere, um, so I, so I um you know. Go over the wall every time I I go on buy groceries. Things are not good. It's not complete freedom now. Uh, it's not complete freedom, um, and the climate is still bad. I uh, so what I and I'm I'm desperate want to leave this place, leave this place. Um, I, I need to get a get a map secure. I need to um, build up the trailer. I need to. I need money to get um, some other um, stuff, um, um, like body wares, like um, other, some little components that would com complete my entire um, ride. Um, I spent two years on, on preparing for this, and I want it to be perfect. I don't want to be out there two years um, with unfinished gears, unfinished home. But I also want to leave this place ASAP because um, the next year will be worse. Um, so I I don't want to stay here anymore any longer. But I also need cash. Okay, cash. Because I I don't plan to use my phone network at all. Um, I'm I'm currently pulling out the uh, SIM card. This is not with my phone. Pull out the same card, so so the service company won't bother me with their threats of vaccine, and uh, they, they they are threat threatening you, uh, they are threatening you with the PCR test right now. The next year they will threaten you co coerce you with vaccine. Um, so I pull out the same card, so no one would would find me. I I'm plan to do that the whole entire tour. Two years, with no SIM card, no internet, completely off grid. No one would know where I am, what I'm doing. No one, not even my father, my mother, because they are the weak points. Your family is your weak weak points. Firstly, they're weak. Your father and mother will most likely be weak person from that their generation. Their education, they are weak people, and it's really easy to get them, to get them vaccinated, to get them PCR tested, to to get them to um, comply to this tyranny, and they will use them to to get you. So there will be there is this complete separate. It's like chop everything cut down. No connections at all. You are free. You are to truly free. And you you don't use internet. You use the satellite map. So everything you need is GPS. You don't need internet. You store the data before you go. You store everything. You plan every route. So to get out to truly be free, that's what you need to do. Completely out of internet. There's no internet at all. You use cash, and you ride. You get your place you want, and start to build up your home, start your new life. Maybe meet some, um, you know, minority minority people live in, in you know nomad nomadic people live in very remote places in beautiful mountains. That that's. The best life I could imagine. Um, every day here is is negative. When I climb upstairs, this air negative chi, the negative air of the cigarette, someone smoking stairs is is so negative. I don't want to have that at all. I had it enough. Completely understand the negativity that this human race is signed up with. I, 
I want none of that. I see through. My dad didn't. People like him have to win through all the negativity. That is waiting for them the next year, the year. Next, next year. I don't need that. I don't need that to to realize what is what it takes to to be free. It's terrible.、Um, right now, the the police force can can get into your apart your you know your they can knock at your door as they, as they can. Annoy you as they want. They are ready. They are ready to to get you.、Um, they are they are the dogs under under the chain, and they can't wait to be released to to bite. They are ready, and we are ready. <sighs>